Yesterday, President Museven appointed retired Assistant Inspector General of Police, Abbas Biakagaba, as the new Inspector General of Police, along with James Ochaya as his deputy. Ochaya has been serving as the Force's Research and Planning Director. The police is doing everything possible to apprehend the criminals and bring them. These changes, which saw several army officers withdrawn from the police ranks, have left opposition members of parliament in disagreement, given that Biakagaba retired from the force two weeks ago. I am happy that uh, first Biakagaba, who is being appointed, is a policeman, but also his deputy is a policeman. We've been complaining about military people. That Kasigas should never have been in police together with all the other brigadiers and generals who are in police. But because they present a, a challenge, they are, they are not used to law and order, military men. So these guys are used to law and order because that's their training. The only disappointment is that someone has retires and then you are recalled. Because someone who has retired should only come back maybe on a contract for something small. According to Chiramun Spite legislator Ibrahim Semjunganda and his Nakawa West counterpart Joel Senyonyi say the force has young and more capable officers while Biakagaba should be an advisor to the forces while in retirement. They assert that IGP Biakagaba's mode of operation may not differ much from that of his predecessors given that he is mandated to take orders from the president. So you bring someone from retirement to come and do the, the work of an inspector general of police. Inspector general of police in Uganda are very busy, people almost not sleeping. Uh, but you pick Kagawa. So why didn't they pick him when he was still serving? As long as the commander in chief remains the same and his attitude remains the same, regardless who he appoints. Okay, because Mr. Museveni normally wants to use police for his longevity, stay in power. So if it be Kale Kaihura, he'll use him to brutalize people and so on. If it is a court or Chola who doesn't exactly want to do that, then Mr. Museveni will bypass him and use his juniors who will report directly to him or to his son, as long as he continues to use that police force to do what it is that he wants to do. That's the challenge that we have. However, NRM leaders are hopeful that given Biakagaba's record of work, he will perform to expectation. He's conversant with the law and he is a professional whose uh, skills and experience is going to go a long way to help, to help the country Uganda to stabilize at this time. I have heard some people complain about uh, his appointment, but uh, the appointment of an IGP is dual purpose. It is done by the president and the vetting is done by parliament. If there is anybody who has a complaint, a genuine one, a legitimate one, he can raise it to the appointments committee of parliament and see whether they will find merit in their complaint. Let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Baker Senyonga Mulinde, NTV Weekend Edition.